Okay guys, so we're back out on the beach. So we've uh, come over to the northeast coast, we're in Hornsey. Um, we're after cod, haddock and maybe a rockling. Um, probably beat a couple of parts to this video because we're staying overnight in a hotel. Uh, we've even got the wife with me, she's just gone for a walk on the beach. Um, we're going to um, we're gonna fish the harbour tomorrow in Bridlington and then possibly have another go at high tide fishing into dark like we are tonight. Uh, but we'll see. It depends how we get on. We might try and get home uh, a bit earlier. So both rods are out. Left hand rod has got a cod loop rig on um, uh, from the Hut Shore Hunter. Uh, Cracking Rig just got them through the post a couple of days ago, giving them a go for the first time. And uh, that's got lug on both hooks. And then on the right hand rod, we've got a flapper rig, a uh, free hook flapper rig with two on squid and one on, sorry, one on squid, two on lug, um, looking for a rocklin. Um, but yeah, see how we get on. So guys, I think I'm getting a bit of a bite on the left hand rod there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure something's nibbling away at that. Um, I brought both rods back in, they're only about 10 minutes, just to check the crab activity. One bait was missing off the two hook loop brig, and, and there was a crab hanging on on the right hand rod. Uh, but the baits were still, still on, so it's not horrendous activity, but um, yeah. Just gives me a gauge of how long to leave them out for, but see if this bite develops, hopefully. And we're not a blanker. Yeah, there's definitely something on that. Well guys, <laughs> first cast, and one of the targets achieved. It's all right, um, wound there, don't know what that's from. But yeah, my first ever haddock, uh, species number 65 of the year at over the moon i can't believe it second cast chucked it out a bit further not a massive bite considering but good scrap fantastic let's get him unhooked and get him back made up with that really really go on fella Getting another rattle on the left hand rod. Well, uh, yeah, something's on that, it's gone slack. Wind that in now. Okay, guys, so I wish I brought my GoPro. Could have got some good scraps. They're fighting in the surf, these uh, these fish, fair dues. Third cast, second haddock. No war wounds on this one. Cracking fish, bit darker. I wasn't sure if it was a huge white in at first, but yeah, made up with that. Let's get it back. A waiting on the scratching rig. Okay guys, we're getting pushed right up against the wall now, might have to come up there, uh, but we just had our third haddock. Cracking little fish, let's get him back. Oh. So guys, um, yeah, it's gone a bit quiet now, we've got to the top of the tide, we're up on the wall. Um, we're just getting to, well, it's just gone past high tide now. Um, but yeah, went quite. I've had a few bites, but I've been missing them on the scratching rig. Probably just small white in. Uh, had a good bite on the left hand rod, but that was nothing. I've changed over now from instead of lug on that loop rig, um, full. I had full sex, full piece on each hook. Um, I've gone on to a polypennel with um, bluey and squid. Um, yeah, there has been. Thankfully, nothing's come of it. But there's been a the R and L I have been out a helicopter boat right. Oh, that right. right over uh, yeah the helicopter and it's actually to be honest I didn't realise but it's actually still out you can see in the background there um, unfortunately I do think it's a hoax um, I don't want to say too much because I don't want someone to hear me but there was, um, there was a lady and uh, yeah I think she's called in a hoax um, Anyway, yeah, hopefully everyone's okay. Um, but, right, yeah. Anyway, um, we'll see what the air brings. Um, but yeah, hopefully we uh, pick up another fish. Okay guys, so I brought the scratching rig in. I put the loop rig back out, full piece of lug. And this little, is it your dad? This little dabs took it in right rattle as well. Um, thankfully, he hasn't swallowed the hook, so getting back now. 
third, third species of the trek. Well guys, <laughs> we've only gone and done it, five bearded, I don't know if we can see him, try and, uh, he's a regular, let's see if we can see him all, but I've had a five bearded rocklin, so absolutely made up with that. We're going to go and have some dinner now, and then we'll be back out tomorrow. Cracking fish. Let's get him back. Okay guys, so it's the following day. Um, really chuffed to have ticked off two species, haddock and five bearded. So as I said, I think I would have said, that's took me to 66 species now. And uh, yeah, so this day, it's the next day and we've come to the Humber. Uh, spin you around, there you go. And uh, and the rods are out. Um, just got sun in my eyes, I can't see a thing. Um, yeah, we've got the left one on the uh, a cod loop rig uh, with two lug on each hook and uh, a pulley panel with um, squid and lug. Um, I've got another bait there ready to go. Um, so yeah, we're fishing it um, two hours down to low and um, potentially two hours back up, but we'll see. Um, fingers crossed we get that codlin. And there's the loop rig, guys. So nice and streamlined. Got one and a half worms on each hooks. Yeah, let's get it out. So I've uh, just brought the uh, right hand rod in um, to uh, do a bait check and unfortunately it was snagged. Uh, we lost everything. So good opportunity to show you the rigs. These are the rigs I've just bought. I don't know him or anything. He doesn't know me. Um, just follow his channel. Great channel. And uh, yeah, got these rigs and they're fantastic. Um, this is the... Uh, Panel rig. I like the shrink tubing rather than wrapping it round. Uh, yeah, and that's good to go out. On a negative note, I snapped my rod tip in the car. Well, guys, I don't know if uh, we can count that as a blank saver, but it's a first for me. A mitten crab, never had one. I know they're, a, yeah, not welcome, are they? Anyway, we'll try again. So, guys, it's the next day. Um, we oh, yeah, I'm getting bites here. <laughs> So we're just interrupted by this little uh, pollock. Um, we're just fishing little baited sabikis. I'll focus. Small sabikis, I've got rag and uh, mackerel. Let's get this fish sorted and I'll come back to you. So I'll try and do the intro or the catch up I should say. And we've interrupted another slightly bigger pollock. Yeah, so as I was trying to say, um, uh, we've come to dock back, it's the day after. We didn't get anything on the Humber, unfortunately. Well, a mitten crab. <laughs> um, yeah, but no fish. Uh, there was a match on, on that section I was on, and nobody was really catching. I think a couple of small whiting come out. Um, I th a couple of haddock, I think one codlin to eight, ten rods or whatever. So, yeah, they just uh, they couldn't have been there in numbers or whatever. But I tried, I tried my hardest. I was recycling the baits, even though they're coming back untouched. But putting on fresh bait and yeah they just didn't happen snagged up a couple of times and when the tide started turning big tide it was really pulling so yeah it was just weed and litter all over the line so anyway we're down at dock back um so we've come from the east coast to the west coast um yeah and we're after a sand smelt now i've had the rods in for a bit um unfortunately they didn't have any ragworm in bluefin uh, but they did but when I got down here, Gamekeeper John was down here with Happy Hooker and they had some rag they kindly give me. So thank you very much guys for that. And uh, yeah, and we've had bites from the off. Um, we've had a little, little bite in, a um, couple of three or four pollock and it's just constant bites. But we're after a sand smell, that's what we're here for. I put a big rod out on a, on a flapper rig just to see, you never know. I suppose there's a chance of a, a Gernard maybe or something like that. But yeah, that sand smell is what we're after. Um, so yeah, let's see how we get on. So, third species of the trip. A lovely little Ballinrass. Cracking fish. Let's get him back. There's a 
a good rattle there. Okay guys, so we've just had a double shot, it was a, um, a whiting, and I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so I've just been waffling onto the camera again. Um, what I think is a grey gurnard. Now that black spot on the dorsal, um, no blue on the fins, on any of the fins. So I'm pretty sure that that is a grey gurnard. Uh, I don't think it's a red going off, but I don't think it's a trouble either. So I'm going with grey for now. If anything changes, I'll let you know. But I'm absolutely made up my 67 species in the year. I thought on the break quarter next week I'd sort of target these. So oh, I'm absolutely buzzing. I can't believe it. Another new fish I've never caught before. Fantastic. Getting back now. Well, <laughs> the rain's come now. It's, uh, yeah, it is pretty chilly, but the bites haven't stopped. Uh, they've stopped actually close in. They did stop, having said that. But the whites in there are pretty relentless out there. Um, and then we've just had this. I wish I was filming the bites. The little rod just nearly got pulled in. Tiny little sabiki and the tiniest bit of rag. There we go, these little tiny sabikis as I showed you before. Where is he? Just had this, oh, like, literally nearly. It's getting in shot properly. Literally nearly pulled the rod off the rest. A cracky little scrap on the light gear. Well worth the trip. For some reason I keep forgetting to press record today, guys. So. <laughs> I just was telling you how I had, I had loads of white in and I wasn't going to bring them all to camera. Um, and a couple of nice squalors as well, some cracky bites. A bit of rain, I wasn't going to get them on camera unfortunately. But anyway, I was showing you three whites in that I'd had. I thought I'd cast to the left. And uh, I didn't press record, so I was waffling on. Anyway, I just put them in the same spot. And we had four whites in on. Uh, there's those two there. One fell off, and then that one just fell off just now. So yeah, plenty of white in down here. I don't know if sand smelt move on at this time of year, I don't know. Um, the wind's sort of hacking into this harbour, so I might try a little bit round the corner in a minute to see if uh, maybe they've moved into the shelter just around there. Um, we'll give it a couple more casts here and then we'll try it out just to, just to see. But to be honest, that great Gernard has just like made the trip, so happy days, but I really do want this sand smell. So we've moved spots twice, <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's only one white in there, so that was some really cool looking little pounces, and they lead you to the trip. So back home now, thankfully my brand new phone isn't broken, uh, as you can tell the audio, a bit of water must have got in. Um, but yeah it's not <laughs> so that's good news for me but anyway yeah so apologies about the audio at the end there um really good weekend really productive for me three species i mean i'd have snatched your hand off for that at the beginning of the weekend um obviously over on to the um, hornsey brilliant place to fish where i was i got pushed up onto the wall um the, there was a match on I, if you'd have gone to the left probably would have wouldn't have been pushed up onto the wall and oh, there was a lot of people coming past me and stuff so been a bit more peaceful and a bit you don't have to watch your gear and and, and all the rest of it so much but uh but yeah a cracking place and the fishing was fantastic the bites did die off now obviously that the helicopter come over now i couldn't really i didn't really i didn't really know what to say and i'm not even sure what i should say on here if i'm honest but basically there was a lady and she there was a guy did get in swimming but he did get out She's phone 999 saying that she's seen a woman out to sea and she was doing well and then all of a sudden she was struggling. I thought she was talking about the guy. I ended up on the phone to the RNLI or 999, whoever she was on the phone to, to giving a description of this person. Thankfully, this person's out there safe. But yeah, I think this uh, I think this woman's uh, yeah got mental health issues. I don't know, you know, don't want to upset anybody, but uh, yeah, so they were out there for about two hours and as a minor a very minor thing mind you you know there's a lot more important things than fishing but they went right over my come right down 
it's got to kill the fishing, hasn't it? The noise, the light, and stuff like that. But like I said, that's you know nothing compared to those guys out there. They're they're way more important than my fishing, and they wasted a couple of hours of their time. So yeah, not good to see really. But anyway, fantastic beach. Crab activity was minimal compared to around here. I'll definitely be back, even if not necessarily for the species hunt, just for a really good day's fishing. It fished really well in the daylight, which I was surprised about, if not better. But again, I can't, not sure if that the helicopter and all the disturbance, but fantastic fishing, loved it. And then, yeah, I wasn't sure how tired I'd be, but went over to Anglesey. Um, and yeah, a great gear nod, absolutely made up. So that takes me to 60 seven species for the year um i am gonna get a tattoo with the final number so i'm hoping it doesn't finish on 69 because i don't really want to have to walk around with 69 tattoo for obvious reasons <laughs> and uh yeah well i don't know i think i can get to 70 now i think i think i can get a cod from the mersey i think i can get a shore rocklin quite comfortable and a turbot would be the icing on the cake so those are gonna that's gonna be my focus from now till new year Obviously, a lot of people, follow, I think, follow the channel of course anglers. That's more of what I started with on the channel. So if you still follow me, thank you, guys. And I appreciate that it might not be for you. But in the new year, it'll be back to being all round and a lot more course fishing and stuff. So thank you very much for watching and listening to my waffle. It really is appreciated and it makes me get out there and do more and I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of pressure, but I genuinely am enjoying it. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much. And tight lines, you know, fishing. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye now.